Time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We now proceed to the start of the second half. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. Thomas. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 20. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Brings up second and nine. Shotgun now for Brady. Airing this one out for him. They got his man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 34. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll be taken down at the 34. The tackle by Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now they'll run it with Scarborough. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Makes the score. Buccaneers 16. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. On first down, gone. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. A run here with Brown. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. 34, Malcolm Brown. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially if we get deeper in the game. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Again, but one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds nowhere to go. Here he lost the football. But it looked like a Rams player was able to get his hands on it. Yes, so they will hold on to the football indeed. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Gone. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The intended target was Cam Akers. And it'll bring up third down. These guys have cut it four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Vita Vea in there for sack number 22 on the year. And, folks, that's just a half sack shy now of Michael Strahan's record of 22 and a half set in 2001. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. It's a 45-yard punt, just a one-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. At their own 39-yard line. Back now comes Tampa Bay. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
Nowhere to go that time. Number he maybe got a yard up to the 40. Aaron Donald on the side. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second and nine, Brady over the middle to Evans. Brady's pass complete to Mike. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. From the gun on third down, Brady, he finds his man. It's Austin. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. First target, first catch, and a first down at the 47-yard line. Throwing on first down is Brady. The hitter here is complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 38-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And the bucket. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Tackled by... But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll run on first down. Tate, and he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They run. This is Scarborough. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Football's such a game of tendencies down and distance, and on third and inches, third and one, you think of it, yeah, the fullback's probably going to get the ball, but when you get to third and two, most of the time that's either the running back or a pass play. So that's a nice tendency breaker by the offensive team there. Hand it to their big guy to pick up the first down. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Ronald Jones, his fifth touchdown now on the year as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. And now Coach Bruce Arians has made the call. His guys will go for two. Now whistles and a timeout signal here by the offense, and that's their first of this second half. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's Ronald Jones that polishes it off with a touchdown run. Bradley Pinion. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. 25-yard line. 
Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. On first down, Brown. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. A gain of five brings up second and five. From the 44, Goff. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. Now a first down throw. Gone. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. And that'll bring up second down. So line of scrimmage still with 39 on second and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Brown. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And the Rams first down. Goff on first down. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A good pick up there, a 22. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Goff now looks to throw. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Vita Vea with sack number 23 on the year, breaking Michael Strahan's mark of 22 and a half. Congratulations. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Now gone. That is caught inside the five. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. I'll give him a dozen on the pitch and catch, but now they're up against a third and goal. Now Goff on third and goal. The Bucs defense stiffens and pushes this to fourth down. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. And his kick here is good. And that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady, the pro bowler Chris Godwin, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A big pickup there. 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. 
And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. It is fun to watch the big man work the middle of the field. How about that post route there? Did an excellent job of getting his head around to look the football in and gain significant yardage. They'll run on first down. Jones. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the 